This one right here is the brand new Anker Solix C1000 portable power station. And this thing is an absolute beast. It can handle loads up to 2,400 watts. It has a 1,000 watt hour battery and it can even expand to over 2,000 watt hours. And one of the most impressive things, this thing can charge from zero to 100% in less than an hour. You can power it through solar up to 600 watts and so many other features. Let's get into this. Right out of the box, you're gonna get three different cables. You're gonna get the power cable. This is going to charge the C1000 from zero to 100% in 58 minutes. There is an ultra fast mode inside the app that you can activate to get that full speed, ultra fast charging. Then you're also going to get an accessory or cigarette lighter adapter for your car or truck. This will plug in to the side of the C1000 and you'll be able to charge your battery and power station on the go. And then the third cable they give you is a splitter here to plug in solar panels. You can handle up to 600 watts of solar power charging. You also get the warranty card and manual included in the box. And they do give you a five year warranty, which I think is pretty impressive. So on the front of this right here, you've got a nice digital display, which is gonna output exactly what percentage of charge you have available in the battery. And then you can turn on and off various outputs, including the outlets and the USB type C and the two USB A. And these are both IQ fast charging charging ports. Also over here on the right, you've got a car socket. So if you've got any other type of car accessory or cigarette lighter type, you can plug that right into here instead of plugging it into your car. You can turn on and off all of these three ports simply by pushing these buttons. On the side over here, we've got the expansion port, and this is for you to plug in to an expansion battery that will be available later on this year. It's not included when you purchase just one of them, but this allows you to expand your power capabilities. On the back, it's just really clean, nothing there on the back. And on this side over here, this is where we're going to see the main power input for your 120 volt 12 amp max input for charging up your battery, a reset button right here. And then you also have the 11 to 32 volt power input. This is 600 watt max. This is for your accessory plug for your car or for plugging in your solar panels. So right now I'm charging this up and it did charge very fast. It's currently pulling in 624 watts. And if I turn that on to ultra fast charging, it does give me a little warning saying that the regular charging speed is best for long-term use of the battery. But now I've got it cranked up to 1,322 watts of power input. So it is now on ultra fast charging mode. So you do have the ability to switch that on or off. But in the ultra charging mode, based on Anker's specs, it will charge from zero to 100% in just 58 minutes. Right now it says that I've got six minutes left to finish charging. Okay, go big or go home, right? So let's see if the C1000 will power the 1100 watt DeWalt 12 inch compound miter saw. 100% right now, let's turn on the outlets. We do have light here. Of course, got my glasses on for safety and let's see if this thing will work. that powerful and as a side note i did cut through two two by fours at once there on that cut and it was a nice clean cut so the mobile app is really kind of cool because when you connect to it you can connect via bluetooth or wi-fi which is a really nice feature and then once it connects to it you can see everything that the digital display outputs including temperature right there in spite of the fact that i was running power tools i'm still at 99 percent you've got various inputs that you can turn on and off you can also control your ac input so when you're charging here you can control your fast charging or regular charging how much wattage the usb ports are pulling and then the car port and the ac output as well there so if we were to turn this on now we've just turned on the AC output 
And then down here, we can control the LED light. You can see that behind there. We can actually control the brightness of that LED light right from the mobile app. You can also turn on and off the sc display screen. So a nice little mobile app here to control things up in the settings. You've got various settings, timeout settings, light SOS mode. So if you put this into light SOS mode, you can put this on the side of the road to get cars attention or send SOS signal across the land. It's screen brightness, various settings, screen timeout. This I felt was a little bit short. So I'm gonna increase this to one minute because I felt 30 seconds was pretty short. You can change the name, you can connect to Wi-Fi in here. Lots of other good stuff all inside the mobile app. So really handy to have a mobile app to monitor your power station. Next up, the 225 PSI DeWalt air compressor. So let's turn this on by pushing and holding the power button, kicks on, then we turn the outlets on right there. Now if this thing overloads, it will automatically shut down. It's got safety precautions built right into it. So if you do overload it, it will shut down. And then all you have to do is push the reset button down there on the end. So now let's kick this on. That's loud, sorry. Right here on the display that is pulling 1350 watts 1350 watts building up pressure right now i don't even know if you can hear me but pressure is building up it got all dusty from the soda nice and clean Pulling 1460 watts. I'd say that's a success. Turn it off simply by pushing the button. I really believe that every home should have an Anchor Solix C1000 on their property. I'm running general appliances off this with no problem. I've got the Vitamix going on full blast, 10 speed. I'm running the Jura coffee maker because, hey, power goes out. You got to still have your coffee, right? So the Jura E8 is a very power hungry coffee maker because it grinds the beans and brews it automatically. But this thing handled that 1,423 watt output with ease. So the Anchor Solix C1000 being able to have 1,056 watt hours is a really long lasting LFP battery. And the fact that you can run 2,400 watts of loads with their surge pad is really impressive. So if power goes out at your house, are you able to just plug in something like a refrigerator and keep it running for 14 hours off of your power station? I would really examine what you've got on hand. And if anything, pick up the Anchor Solix C1000 portable power station today through the links below this video. I appreciate you guys subscribing and liking this video and leave a comment. What power station do you guys have? And will you be getting the Anchor Solix C1000 power station for your house?